<laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. That was quite aggressive actually. Let me move these out of the way. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to bring you a week in my planners. I started this off last year. I didn't do the Christmas week because it was pretty chaotic to be honest. So I thought I'd bring you the first week of the year, a week in my planners. Um, <clears throat> I love doing this because I do like setups and plan with me's the original sort of before the pen or you know minimal stuff um and i haven't really gone through what each of the planners are that i'm using this year and why i'm doing it this way etc so this is going to be a bit longer than normal but i just wanted to take you through all the planners that i'm using including this one which i finally moved into this is the hobonichi a5 hon which has basically the same layout as the cousin but it's got a sort of hard, somewhat hard cover so <clears throat> I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with this I did set it up um and I set it up using um some stickers and I'll I'll, I'll go through it anyway I'll, I'll quickly take you on a flick through that um but I want to show you what I've been doing and oh I love it so um we started off I when I was setting up I wanted to put everything that I love in here this is very much a journal <clears throat> I've decided that I wasn't going to put any stickers in it. I have put some up front, but that's it. I made the decision um, that I wasn't going to bulk this one up. I have an A5 that I can use stickers and kits and all those good things. So I decided that this was going to be a space for me to really just use ink. So up front, we've got a picture of my wedding day and my three pooches. It's actually this one's birthday today. Um, and then the grumpy tortoise sticker here. And then you can see this is the Grumpy Tortoise um, kit that I got in the advent calendar. I've put my word of the year in here because I think it's important to just, as a, well, a reminder. Um, and I've just started marking off the days. And really, that's probably the way that I'm going to do this. Um, I might just plot some birthdays or something, but not going to do much. Um, and then we go into this. And essentially, I'm just scribbling off when I journal in here and if I've done it. So let's take you to the first month. So I decided I didn't want to waste this month at all. So I thought I'd just do a doodle a day in December. I'm really pleased with how this came out actually. I think this looks really cute. I'm not a doodler. Um, basically, <laughs> I was looking at doodles. Um, if I, I'm a copier, very much a copier. So I will copy a doodle. And then what I've been doing this month for this week is I have been doing the tall plans lettering challenge and doodle a day so essentially you get a word each day from a instagram user called tall plans which is t-a-l-l-p-l-a-n-z I'll link her instagram down below um, and then you do some lettering so I've been doing the lettering but also how much space can that really take up? So I do that in this space at the top and then I've been doing a little doodle alongside and I've really enjoyed this. It's really good fun. So I'm going to try and keep that up. It doesn't take long. So it's really nice. It's a nice little challenge. Moving on into um, the weeklies. Now this page, let me just grab a clip. This page is just stunning. This spread is gorgeous i made the decision that i was going to get some journal prompts and just for the whole month and i've put them in for the whole month so you'll see here i've done them here as well um and i've done a different color per day and i thought i would literally use pen um and i just think this looks so special so lovely and um, i have not highlighted on purpose i've just put bits behind the highlight What's really nice about this is this is very focused writing. I think this looks absolutely stunning and I'm so happy with it. And then on the dailies, I have been doing Word of the Day. So I've been going to, <clears throat> going online and typing Word of the Day and finding out what it is and then just putting in the description. I'm just practicing my letter writing essentially. So these are the ones that I have done so far. I actually think I've got today's to do. I haven't done it yet. 
so I've not done yesterday or today so I'll do those today they don't take long again it's filling up pages the way that I think they should they look nice it's it's practicing my lettering it's filling up a page and I see this is stunning I just love it so I'm really happy with that I'm going to do today's and yesterday's later I think so that's where this one's going and what I'm going to do is by the end of it um in this bit I'm just going to do a sort of what's my favourite word, or something, we'll see. I'll do something on that, but that's definitely going back to how the month has gone. Maybe a review of the month in here, maybe a doodle, like my favourite doodle, my favourite word, my favourite lettering. I may do that in this, so it's like an overview, because you don't get like a front and a back page of this one. So that's everything in this one. I'm so happy with this, and it's not going to bulk up particularly much. I've got the free pencil board you get. So I'm really happy with that. So that's number one. Number two. Okay, so this is the Wonderland 222 A5 All-in-One Unstacked Planner. Now, I was really worried about this. I was really worried because I genuinely thought that I wasn't going to enjoy this particularly. Um, I thought that I was going to want to go back in the cousin. But you know what? I'm really happy with it. So... Um, this week, I've taken you through the others, I set up using um, the Grumpy Tortoise monthly setup, and it is just headers which is nice and there's a few functional boxes. I like this because it's simple and it gives you what you need. And then this week I used an every, the first every minute a story um, that I needed to use and I really liked the way this looked. Um, I really, in, I just think this is so pretty for the start of the new year. It's really planner focused. This girl can, you know, there's a lot of focus on the future on this. So it's planning, isn't it? I like this a lot. I love this setup. And I used one in December and I liked it then as well. Let me just get to that one and I'll show you. Yeah, similarly, I really enjoyed this one. They're actually very similar in the way that I've put them. I just, I really like them. I'm really happy with this week. So things that I've used. So I used the Every Minute Story stickers, got, um, Happy Bees. I've got Cute Stickers Only, Persephone's Boutique, Stick with the Pan Co, Stick with the Plan Co. Um, Alvi Planning, I have a, um, a code for them and Happy Bees actually. Um, and I think that might be, it. Yeah, I've got quite a few Albi planning in here from their, um, what's it called? Um, little book. I've got a little book. And then a little paper shire in the corner, which is great. So that is that one. Um, in terms of what I've been doing, I haven't done a lot of journaling. Um, I did this and that's it. But I haven't really done any daily journaling. But it doesn't mean I won't. These are note pages, like I can write as little or as much as I want. There is no dates on them. And that's why I appreciated this more. I can really fill this out with anything I want to whenever I want. So I might end up doing like double page spreads just to be a bit more creative, have a bit more fun. So that is that one. And I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. Actually, I've just realised there is another planner that I've not included and I'll have to show you. Um, I will show you. So there's 10, 10 in total. Okay, so... The next two are the Hobonichi Weeks. I love this planner so, so much. Um, this is my catch-all for the family. This informs the larger one, but actually I do write a lot more in here. So last week in here, I've just covered up. But some stuff has been going on, so I've covered it up uh, because it is quite sensitive. So I've put that in here. But again, like the week before, I'll show you this one because you didn't get to see it. This is Christmas. I love this layout. Uh, I like how um, I can capture everything all in one, all here, everything I need. So I, I just love it. I, I absolutely adore this planner. I don't think I'll ever not have it in my life. I think it's amazing. Um, also, like I just write shopping lists and stuff at the back, which has been really good. Um, just useful, useful planner. This one is a little less sensitive and this is my... Um, last week in my what are we social media planner so this tape I got in the 
um, advent calendar from cute stickers only. I've got uh, a few things that I need to do next week. I will probably cover this up at the bottom. In fact, you know what? I might do it now because I've got the tape here and it's beautiful tape. Let's do that now while we're, while we're all together. Let me just snip this straight because otherwise I don't like it. Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. This is one of the most beautiful tapes ever. So, there we go. Using the cute stickers only, this was also in the um, advent calendar. I think it was the last day, it's beautiful. Okay, so that's there. That's so nice, it just finishes it off really nicely. I don't need a lot. It's simple. I put everything in here. I have actually added something new for next week because I'm on quite a lot of PR teams now. I've announced that. I've also put a little post on my community um, because I've got like lots of PR codes now and they're always down below. But I just want you to be aware that you will get a discount if you use them. Um, and that's a bonus, right? So I also put for the first time my numbers at the top. I decided just to do a weekly look and see how much I'm growing. This is the most I've grown on Instagram. I've been posting daily. I've been posting, honestly, so much, and my engagement has gone up. I've probably posted three times a day. I was worried that like that'd be too much, but it's not. Um, and then I, I, I did, even though I was doing daily YouTube videos, I decided to try and just do like three in one week. I don't think it's working for me. My numbers have only gone up 18. They were going up really, really rapidly. I'm just going to go back to um, just posting as much as I want when I want. Maybe five videos a week, but not um, in any sort of order. It just works for me. I just feel like if I try and do it three times a week, it just it isn't going to work. So that is this week. And also, um, I've been trying to comment on more. So... I want to comment on five instas a day and I probably do that every day and also I try and comment on one video per day it just I think engagement is really key for, for me but also for other people so that's where I've been putting my numbers and then here I've just I did have look three videos a week and I, I didn't even do one the same in that week so yeah that that's not worked but I will try something out I probably should try it for a bit longer shouldn't I but I haven't I haven't right so one of my favorite planners this year which I've been religiously sticking to is the Wonderland 222 a, uh, B6 all-in-one so I've shown you this a number of times but I will show you this week so I decided on very minimal stickers but one just big one um, I got this is um, a pet tape sample from London Gifties. I mean, I had to cut off her feet and part of her head, but I love it. I thought this was really good for this year. I thought it was really fun to um, do something a little bit different. I mean, previous weeks, let's just go back, I will show you. I've put some stickers in, I've put some photos in. Not too much, I've kept it very writing heavy. But I really like how this turned out. I was worried. I put one sticker. That was it. And I, I like it. I'm really happy with that. Um, and then also my gratitude log for the week. I'm still doing gratitude every day, but also the weather every day. And I think that's I think that's been fun. Um, also, um, so I've decided what I'm going to do for the December review and the January overview and it's just essentially going to go a bit like this and we'll do a little front page and then I'm going to do appointments, goals, affirmations and priorities. What I want to do, this is all self-care so that, that's all to do with me so I'm very excited about that. Um, I did add something this month. Um, one of my colleagues passed away and that was just devastating so that was really hard that actually happened a couple of weeks ago but yeah I just it, yeah I wanted to write about it um and then I did do sort of plans of actions for this week uh, I've put a title in but I haven't written anything in there 
and then also I have been keeping up with my dun, 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 tr uh, meal plans, although never ate a thing that we actually planned. Um, my new habit tracker, I have kept up with that every single day and my mood tracker, so I have kept up with it. Things that aren't going so well is taking my vitamins, I've not taken them, eating the planned meals, setting out my clothes in the evening, doing a get fit with Rick, like they're not going well. In most cases, I'm mm, not going well with sleep either. So I can see patterns already in this week that I need to improve for the next week. So that's really good. Um, I do enjoy keeping this actually, it's really easy. I thought it'd be really tough, but it isn't at all. So that is this week in my self-care planner. Then we have my accidental planner. I sound annoyed. I am a bit, because I don't understand why it's still happening, why I'm still doing it. Why am I, why am I still doing it? Um, so I created a 2024 front page, because I've done, obviously, the last five weeks in here of the year so I thought I might as well put in the front page really enjoyed doing that then I decided to draw a calendar you can see I messed up that one was too wide and that made these two too short but hey ho whatever um it doesn't look that bad though and then I did a vertical spread for the first time in here I think that looks really quite nice actually and it works I was really worried because the reason I wanted to try this out was to see if the size of this planner, because it's an A5 Slim, would actually work. Um, I did put some trackers in. This happened before. I put in a tracker like um, for like washing and stuff like that. Didn't work. And then um, vitamins again. I'm just not, not taking them. This is very much a, a typical um, week for us. Uh, and it, I, I sort of memory plan in this one a bit, actually sort of a bit of it's not really anything it's an accidental plan i shouldn't even be using it don't <laughs> don't watch me and then two other planners i'm going to briefly show you this one but there's a lot of personal stuff in it i'm just going to show you the outside so this is this is the cover of my five-year planner um it's from hobonichi this is a five-year cover um it's absolutely beautiful i won't show you what i've written because it is personal but essentially you've got a day per two pages and you write the first year in here, which is this year, and then you just keep going until you get to the fifth year. Um, this year, my daughter starts secondary school, so this is going to be a really interesting five years. And then when I get my new one, the youngest will be starting secondary school, or about to. So I feel like I can definitely use this. Um, and it's so easy to keep. There isn't loads you've got to write. So I've not written loads every day, but it's definitely just a snapshot of the day. But it is very personal, and I won't be showing—I won't be showing that ever. Um, but I just wanted to show you this because I have kept up with it all week. And then finally, the one that has been very exciting. You may not know what this is, but if you do, this is the One Piece planner from Hobonichi inside a one piece cover. So this um, is the Thousand Sunnies um boat head and then inside i mean it's just gorgeous it's so beautiful sailing through the dangers of the thousand seas shining happily like the sun um inside is just so stunning you get this gorgeous like oh, i don't know this material inside i can put stuff in here not so much i wish there was a pocket there that kind of frustrates me um put little bits here little bits here and whatnot I put this one piece sticker on. I was so excited to get this started, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I covered up the 2023 with a one piece sticker. I've started, oh, I need to do this. Um, in fact, I'll do it now. We are sat here, why not? Well, I'll tell you why not, I can't find a pen. Typical, where is it? I just had it in my hand. Hate it when this happens. Eat it, eat it, here we go. Right, so just going to scribble off all the ones where I've, I've learnt Japanese every single day. I am thoroughly enjoying that. Oh, I've scribbled off eight, but that's tomorrow. 
So let me show you what we have so far. So my gold for the month, daily Japanese lessons on Duolingo and watch at least one episode of One, of one Piece per day. So I'm sus subscribed to Crunchyroll, which is um, where you find like anime um, and One Piece is on there, the whole series, anime. The thing is, it's still in Japanese, but it's got English subtitles. And it kind of prompted the learning of Japanese. Like I've never once wanted to go and there was the only reason for that is because I'm too big for Japan. But um, I think it's very interesting. I love the language. It's it's so logical. It makes complete sense to me. So I've really enjoyed learning it anyway. Um, I thought I would log what I've learned in Japanese. So I've written some of the letters, well, some of the characters down. And then what's happened in the episodes that I've watched. So... Um, I've been doing that every single day uh, and talking about things. I didn't watch One Piece on that day. But what's really nice is the stories here. So if I can't read the language in here, I'll just use my Google Translate, which I have done, and it works really well. So um, I don't. hopefully this isn't any spoilers, actually. I don't want to spoil anything but I've just been writing down in the left hand column what I've learned I didn't actually I did learn Japanese but it was difficult to write down what I'd learned because it was a re repeat of things that I'd done uh so yes I did do a lesson today but I'm going to do more lessons I only did one lesson so I'm going to do that and yeah um I'm just putting a little sticker in each day I may need to buy some more one piece stickers but until I run out I will not so that this is just a really cute fun a6 I put whatever I want in here and it's really just for me it's it's not for anybody else it's for me to enjoy it's not decorative it's just literally me having fun with my one piece journey um oh I could put the stickers in here actually I wondered where I could put them I've got some stickers and I want to put them in here this, what is that okay that's fine um so yeah I think this is absolutely such soft leather. It's really, honestly, so beautiful. I'm so happy with this. I wonder if they're going to bring any One Piece stuff out in April. I'd, I'd be interested to see. I really want it, but I can't afford it now, which is really sad. Um, but yes, that is all of my planners this week. And I'm so chuffed to be able to bring that to you. I have kept up with them really well, I think. Um, my favourite one at the moment is Mahon. I knew I'd enjoy it, but I mean, it just looks so stunning. Like, we'll just go back to it quickly. Oh no, I have got another one. That isn't all of them. Sorry. Wait a minute. This one. Uh, I haven't spoken about this. And I actually don't know if I can, but I decided to try this out. This is the Sterling Ink Common Planner. I think it's called the N20 Compact Full Year 2024. I bought this off of D-Stash ages ago because somebody just didn't want it. I was like, I really want to try it. Is it as good as the, probably is actually, as the Weeks? I actually think I prefer the Weeks covers. This is very flexible. It's fine. I, thought, I don't know. I just think I like it a bit better. Anyway, I decided to make it my pen pal one and these are my first two spreads so I've put in you know oh in fact I could take this off so I've basically I've said what letters I've received and then which ones I've written and then I've just done a page in here and I'm going to bulk this up quite a lot because I want to see how much it will take so I'm going to do my next spread and I'll probably film it and then I'll do on both sides I think but yeah, I'm really happy with this. How cute is that for a first week? How cute is that sticker? You know I love a chubby girl sticker. That's made me so happy. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like moving forward. Um, I'm really happy with the creativity this allows me. So yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot. And I can't wait to show you some more spreads in the future. Anyway, that's it. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Hopefully I can answer them. If you would like to subscribe, then please do. Um, 
like I say, this is going to be my favourite. Oh, I'm just putting things everywhere now, aren't I? This is going to be my favourite so far. I mean, it just looks so good. Look at that. It just looks insane. It's just beautiful. And everything in here is just so... It's personal, yeah, it's structured, and yeah, I can't wait to see how the next few weeks turn out. Um, something to note, in the Hobonichi, um, the new Hobonichi cousin, people are saying that this has shrunk. I think this is the same size. They're saying that this header here has shrunk down and sticker things won't stick in. So that's concerning that's suspicious but yeah i'm really really chuffed with how this looks i think i think it just looks beautiful anyway thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up um if you would like to subscribe please do i'm so close now i think i'm like 80 away from 5000 Honestly, I don't know what I'd do with myself if I reached it. I'd be so ecstatic. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, you want to subscribe, that obviously would make my day. I hope that you've had a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.